quick comparison of the late 2012 Mac Mini and the late 2014. Both of them have 16 gigs memory, 256 gig SSDs, but the late 2014, the SSD is connected over PCIe, so it might be a little faster. Um, the processor, this is a quad core i7, dual core i5. This one was maxed out, whatever the highest clock speed was. This one is one step down from the highest because in retrospect, I don't think it was worth spending the extra money. Um, here's the IO benchmark. Um, 2012, it's a respectable, respectable rate. 100 meg rate. About the same read, livable. PCIe, well, much better. It's not quite double. It's about probably 50% faster. Instead of 400, yeah, instead of 400, it's more like 700. So almost double. Let's now look at uh, CPU. Late 2012, kind of slow, single core, 2748, multi core, doing really well that it's uh, almost four times faster. Late 2014, single core is actually slightly faster. Instead of 2748, it's 3065. 300 faster, 300 whatever those units are. Here's the trick look at that multi core, multi core, 10,000. But in 2014, we dropped to 6,400. That's sad. It's really too bad Apple doesn't offer a quick uh, quad-core 2014 Mac Mini. But I don't mind too much because my workloads are all I.O. bound and, uh, and mostly single-core. So this new Mac Mini should have noticeably faster I.O., slightly faster single-core. It'll be all right. Come on, Apple, though. Give us quad core.